Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Okay, so we have a group that may be trying to figure out how to take you out. There's something I've been picking up on where is that people are trying to figure out how to unalive you. Uh, something has gone way farther than it should have. And there are people out here trying to figure out how to unalive a star seed. And it's something that's going to backfire. This is something where a lot of people are aware of and they are very determined to execute this uh, mission of theirs, this purpose of theirs, but they are very determined to have you taken out. Um, there are people in your environment, people in your life, in your communities that are aware that there's a plot on you to take you out. You may have had like a queen of cups or a queen of, queen of a king of cups around you that was aware of the plot to take you out. You were supposed to show up somewhere. Maybe you didn't show up. They're reworking the plan. Um, but you're not going to be taken out because the ancestors are watching over you. Your purpose has not been fulfilled yet. So most of these people will be long gone before you even take your last breath. So you don't have anything to worry about. But just know that there are people that have come, come up with some type of malicious plan to take you out because they don't want you and someone connecting and they don't want you receiving some type of, I think it's abundance, inheritance, uh, some type of assistance from someone. Uh, someone may be in this group that feels that you two are from two different walks of life. So this would be like one is religious, one is religious, and you are spiritual. And they don't want the two to mix, okay? So there's something like that going on. Um, but someone is very determined to get to you. This could be like a king of swords that was hired to do this job like he does not mind coming and trying to break into your home break into your apartment more than likely the people in your community yeah they've gotten someone they've gotten these people in cahoots like they know there are people within your community that know what the plan is what the plot is whether it's the management for the house you live in the apartment building you live in they all know they're all in on it so this man does not mind coming and trying to break your door down to get into your apartment to do you something um, because there's something where I don't know if he stands to lose a lot, uh, but this man is kind of just far gone. Someone has been doing something for a very long time and at this point, it's just another day on the job for him. It's that same, uh, same old S-H-I-T, just a, just a different day. It's something like that for him. I think someone has done this before, um, and this is why they're hiring him. There could be a king of cups in a situation that is in his mind. He's stuck in his mind, maybe angry, maybe pissed off that you are about to get in some type of union. And this is the union that these people are trying to, trying to block from coming together, right? There's a lot of fighting going on amongst a group of people. There's a lot of arguing, a lot of chaos, disturbance, all kinds of nonsense going on within a friend group. Uh, you could also have a group of women. I, I saw in like a dream, three women showing up at someone's home. I guess they'll pick a fight with them or something. And it has to do with the masculine, with the Ace of Cups out here. It has something to do with a, a relationship. So they want this man to um, stay in some type of lower energy where he's sleeping with multiple women and things like that. And he's trying to make some type of change in his life. And so these women are in some type of competition with you. They want to shut you up or have you taken care of. This could be someone that's very wealthy that wants to uh, connect with you. It could be just in business at first. And maybe it may be something that turns into romance later on. But what so much I'm getting is that they're pissed off because this man wants to pour into you, wants to invest in you, wants to give you some type of opportunity uh, to see what it is you're going to do with this because these could be women or people that this man was giving to before and they haven't done anything <laughs> with the money that he's been giving them. These are women who, when they when they receive money, the first thing they think about is going to go shop. They got to go buy the latest bag, the latest shoes. Meanwhile, the bills ain't pay and things like that. This is the kind of mindset. But somehow there's a man that knows if he pours into you, you're going to multiply that 10 times full. And this is why he's wanting to come towards you. And something I'm also picking up on is this is not someone that's going to give to you and then try to be like a hover 
hoverboard or like an airplane over you trying to control you and direct everything you're doing i think this is going to be someone who's like a hands-off approach is it it's like show me what you can do i've given you the money now i want to see what it is you can do what you're capable of doing what the dream is that you want to manifest this is not something these other women were able to do because someone knows that you've mastered yourself. You're someone very disciplined, hardworking, and you know when to walk away from a situation that will serve you right, okay? Um, so this is the kind of mindset he's been looking for. But because these women are available to him, he said, hey, they're there. I'm here. It is what it is. Maybe he's not obligated to anyone. Maybe he's not married or maybe he and his spouse has an understanding, whatever it is. But this is not, these women are not people like this man is wanting to invest in anyways in the long term because he knows their mindset is not where it's supposed to be as far as business. These are just women that are with this man for the financial benefits and they're, they don't know anything about investing into themselves. They don't know anything about investing into their futures, their careers, or anything like that. All they know is, I'm getting this money from him now, and I'm about to go buy this bad ASS shoes, dress, wig, or whatever, and I'm about to be out here spassing out on people. And the whole time, they don't realize he's looking for someone that invests in themselves. So they may hit you for your mindset but he likes you for your mindset. You see how life be? <laughs> this could be women that are into like, this would be some of the women where when they see you, maybe your behind is not as big as theirs and they'll be like, she don't got enough behind. I'm better than her. So they think they're better than you because their butt is bigger than yours. Um, but the whole time you're looking at them, listening to them, like you don't got no class. So it's something like that. It's like they look down on you because you're not as, thick as they are or maybe you're not as skinny as they are or something like that but you're probably looking at them like you don't got no class about yourself so i'm good over here <laughs> like everybody has a type i mean you're this man lower energy type maybe the woman you're looking at talking about she don't have any booty that's his high vibrational type so at the end of the day the high vibrational is always going to overcome the low low vibrational because if this man has sense He'll know that the high vibration is his destiny and you're just there for a purpose. You're just there for a specific reason. And if he needs three of you, four of you, five of you, you probably ain't fulfilling that purpose or that reason. So more than likely, the high vibrational one is the one he's going to go with because that's the one that knows how to what multiply and help have him manifest something new for himself or something even more abundant than what he has. So you don't really compete. You can't compete where you don't compare. These are superficial people that pay attention to all the latest trend. You know, uh, maybe Cardi B is wearing blue hair this week, so they're going to wear blue hair too. Uh, whatever it is. This is the, the kind of energies that I'm picking up on. Just very insecure and just, they don't know. The, the, the funny thing about insecurities as well is that oftentimes people, women... And men too that are insecure they don't know they're insecure um and the people that are secure within themselves they'll look down on those kind of people they say oh she says she on she on drink she says she on smoke she says she on you know be sleeping around she says she don't want to talk to you you're not her type and the whole time they're saying it like that but they don't know it's because you know you have substance about yourself you don't want to just be out here being reckless with people, like there's consequences to those kind of actions. You can, you're you young today doing stupid stuff. It's going to catch up to you later on in life. So I don't know if people don't talk, think that way, um, that you're out here just being reckless when you get older. Like, what about when you get older? Like, you're not, you're not thinking about that. And you don't realize that the actions since, since I'm picking up on a group that considers themselves to be spiritual, even though it's on the lower end, you don't don't you understand how karma work what you do to one person is coming back to you what you, what energy you put out there into the atmosphere is always coming back to you and it's hitting your lineage too it's not just hitting yours and i think i've said that many times on my platform your karma does not just touch you it touches your whole lineage so even after you pass away your children have karma to pay to whoever you are indebted to so i don't know what it is with these 
the karmic mindset where they think they can just come out and do whatever it is they want to people and they're just going to be able to go on about their life blasé blasé and get away with it roll over on the pillow and have a good night's sleep you may have a good night's sleep to, for a little while but honey that karma is still coming chaos is still coming in your life it's just why these people are out here in the reverse because something ain't going right there's something that has to do with love there's something that has to do with reciprocity. There's a man that's more than likely standing his ground, protecting a union, and it, it's causing some type of defeat to these people, okay? They're trying to stop two people from coming together. There's a community trying to cause a lot of confusion, but whoever this man is, they're trying to manipulate. This is someone that's very intellectual, someone that's a planner or thinker. So he may be like miles ahead of these people and they don't even know it, I'm telling you miles ahead of these people and they don't even know it and they're still there trying to cause a lot of chaos and conflict um in the truth being exposed like this person has clarity there could be a, a group of people that are now starting to self-actualize actually within a group and seeing the truth and have going through some type of heartbreak and disappointment about what it is they participated in uh, so they may be realizing that someone did something solely out of jealousy so that two people won't get come together. But there's some type of introspection that is going on within a community where it's like they're realizing they were coming after the wrong person. They said, oh, now that we know the truth, what the heck do we do? How do we even communicate with this person to say we're sorry? Because there's something here about apology. Like they want to apologize to you, but they don't even know how to go about it. Um, just, just threat with caution, but the truth is out. Clarity is out. People, people are burdened. People may be losing quite a lot behind the scenes. Um, these are people probably losing money, losing positions, like jobs and things like that, losing their homes. It's that everything they try to manifest for you is what is taking place for them. If they were trying to keep a man hostage within an environment in some type of position or whatever, like he's leaving. I'm telling you, I split my deck. They were trying to keep him hostage in some type of position, and this man is leaving. Like, someone is seeing things for what they really are. Like, he's seeing the truth about either a group or a, a, a feminine energy, whatever this is, and he's moving on. And they're very heartbroken that this man is choosing to move on with his life. I mean, I can't blame this person. Yeah, like, he's trying to communicate with you. These people are choosing to not self-actualize or nothing. It's a whole thing. Look at this. The five of wands in the reverse, the ten of cups. There's no fulfillment in anything that's going on with these people. There's no friendship. The family dynamic may be over because this man is realizing he may have gotten some type of communication, some type of news that these people... They're very low vibrational. They're just financially motivated. The Eight of Cups in reverse has to do people do with people that are very greedy. All they care about is money. They don't want to self actualize. They don't want to go take that uh take the initiative to go within to heal. Like healing is not important to these people. Uh, he may be finding out as well that maybe he tried to communicate with you, and they did something to block that communication. Or is that you're pouring into something and when you're supposed to reap the benefits of your labor, they're doing something to stop you from receiving that. So someone may be pissed off behind the scenes and they don't know that if this man is more than likely angry with them. And now that something is being reciprocated to them because what they were doing is hitting your finances and now their finances are being hit, their stability. <clears throat> Um, their livelihood, everything is being hit. There's a queen of wands losing some type of relationship. This is the one that was more than likely collaborating with everybody behind the scenes to do you something, go into practitioners and things like that to send you negative energies. But there's a lot of conflict going on within an institution or a family. Uh, there could be a couple that's getting a lot of, uh, I don't know what it is that's going on, but there could be a group that's pissed off at a couple or something or a community that's pissed off at a sector of the community because of what it is they've been out, um, up to. It's like everything is out in the open. So if you have a community that you have one part that's not aware of what was going on and then you have the other part that was indulging in what was going on, the sector that's not that was not aware and was not participating is quite pissed off. 
at the sector that was participating in something. They have foresight now of why something played out the way it did, why you may have maybe distanced yourself from people or maybe why you refuse a position. I don't know what this is, why you left a position, why you didn't apply for a position, why you didn't step into a position, why, they, I don't know what this is, but there's something like that, something like that going on. There's some type of like this, I don't know, reckoning. Go, there's something going on within a community. They're trying to hide it, but it cannot be hidden. Like something is out in the open. Maybe people are just choosing not to talk about it, but I doubt it. With this five of wands in the reverse and the ten of cups in reverse, eight, eight of cups in reverse, eight of wands in reverse, it's, it's being talked about, especially with the three of cups in reverse, it's being talked about. Everything is being said. Even if these people made some type of agreement that we're not going to take this out of this room, it's going to stay in this room from henceforward. It's been, it, the, the moment they all left that room, somebody spilled the beans. It's out. It's out. And this is judgment. It's out. And it has people burdened behind the scenes about what they were investing in when it came to causing you difficulties, trying to weigh you down, burden you, make your life as difficult as possible because now people are realizing what it is they were investing in behind the scenes the whole time. Maybe people didn't know that maybe you were trying to protect yourself. That's why you maybe stopped interacting with people or stopped talking to people or left a relationship, left a job, left an institution. I don't know what this is, left a church, left a school, whatever this is, but people know the truth now and that's because your ancestors are stepping in and revealing the truth, right? They are stepping in and revealing the truth about something. And they're telling you as well to listen to your intuition about anyone coming towards you. There could be a queen of wands that wants to come towards you. This is not someone genuine. This is this was like one of the head of the squads. Someone may be like a queen of wands, may end up passing away. Or maybe she's going to go through some type of rebirth where she's going to learn how to self-actualize or something like that and make some type of turnaround. But someone right now is operating from their lower energy. She's very pissed off, very angry because this is someone that's financially motivated. Uh, someone is very insecure for now, but maybe she's going to go through some type of ascension where she'll look back. She'll reflect on this time in her life and she may end up being really embarrassed. Uh, and how she carried herself, how she handled a situation, something of that nature. Um, they're, they're, I don't know who this friendship group is, whatever this is, honey. The fake friends, because there's with all these cups being in the reverse, there are no genuine friendships within these communities, these friends groups, nothing. There is something where it's like these people, all they do is get together and get drunk indulging in lower energy activities, droops, all kinds of stuff, gossiping, gossip about each other, other people, you, even though you may not even know who these people are, having been around them, or maybe you've been around them, but briefly, but there's something where these people get together, they're always partying, there's something like that going on, but there's a lot of fighting and arguing, just too much chaos going on between these people and behind the scenes. I don't think they were, I, I don't know if they were trying to mellow, some, mellow something out, but it's like, no, there's too much bad blood amongst these people. There's too much betrayal. These are people that have come up against each other many times over. It's like there's no honor amongst criminals. So these people have backstabbed each other for a long time. So now it's like they can't just pretend like all of these backstabbings, these betrayals didn't happen. So there's no friendship. Who, Whatever sector I'm picking up on, these are people that have been around each other for a long time with this Ten of Cups here at Reverse. These are people that are well acquainted with one another. They know all the nasty deeds, dirty deeds about each other. Especially with the nine, with the hermit out here, excuse me. Yeah, these are people that have been around each other for a very long time. Very, very long time. Very long time. And they're trapped in their minds. Like, we can go and give this person some money. How do we apologize to this person? It's a like, keep your apology, go and heal. 
whatever they're even trying to come towards you to give you is not something genuine. They're still paying to have your work blocked. They're still paying to have your finances blocked. These people have been doing this for a long time. Paying to have something kept from you. Paying to block your finances, your resources, your family. Keep food out of your family's mouth. Uh, keep your family living in some type of deplority or something like that. They've been doing this for a long time. And there's going to be some type of confession that comes out that's going to expose all of this. And whoever this man is that's wanting to come towards you is going to be heartbroken. It's like he's finding out. This whole time I thought this person was doing well, but they've been living like this. Yeah, yeah, they're paying to cause some type of blockages. It's like that's all these people know how to do. They can't win against you in any other way. So all they can do is block your finances. And they're hoping that that's going to make you give up on life. And you're just going to end up homeless. Maybe end up being on a lie for something. And then they won't have to worry about you. You're, you're some type of barrier for these people. It's like someone in this community, he's trying to change his life. Trying to go through some type of ascension, but he has some type of access to you where he's either watching you, listening to you. You could be around this person and these people are pissed off about it. Uh, so they're trying to take you out. They're trying to stop you, block you so that this person has no reason to come towards you. They don't care if they have to unalive you. They're sending some type of old person, they, someone in their 50s, like 56, 57, 58, no more than 60 years old, okay, to come and do you something. This is like a warlock they're sending. Like they've paid this person. They've paid this man to come in and do you something. He said, we don't care how you do it. Just get the job done. This is what the secret. I'm telling you. They're plotting to take you out. But it's being illuminated. And this is a whole failure. The universe is stepping in. When this person takes action, they're going to go through some type of tower. He said, we don't care how you do it, just get it done. This, we got to shut this person up. So now he's figuring out how he can block you. He can stop you. He can come in your energy. They're still trying to figure out how they can stop you from being seen. So you could be on a platform meant to be uh, accelerating and moving forward in victory. And they're still paying to have your work blocked. But things will be balanced out. Just keep going. Don't let anyone... Uh, uh, tear you down. Don't don't let anyone off your light. Whether that be spiritual, whether that be mental, emotional, uh, physical, even. Don't let anyone off your light. Protect yourself. Stay vigilant. If you have to go somewhere and you feel like you don't you and you don't feel like going, don't go. That's your ancestors or your higher self telling you to protect yourself. Basically, telling you stay home today. You don't need to go there. It's not that serious, right? Something like that. Anyway, yeah. Just like I said, they're paying to stop your finances. They're paying to keep your finances stuck, to hold on to you, control you. And the truth is out. I told you, the truth is out that you are being stopped from moving forward. And this is something these people have been doing too and lying about it. They may have even told someone that they stopped doing something. They haven't stopped doing it. They're still doing the same thing behind the scenes. It never stopped. And maybe he's believing, he believed them that they stopped doing something they never did. And he may be heartbroken about that truth being out. He said, they told me they weren't doing this no more. No, they're still doing it. They've been paying someone to do it for a long time. They're paying an older energy to do something, to, to, to keep something, to control something, to block something. Or this is an older energy paying a younger energy to block something, whatever it is. At the end of the day, they're still blocking, controlling, keeping something from doing what they're supposed to do. And they're doing this to, I don't know if it's quite a few people. It's like they want you just confused. They don't want you like being strong, moving forward, thriving. They don't want you to think positive. They say, we're going to keep doing this until you give up, but you ain't going to give up. I'm telling you, you ain't going to give up. And actually what's happening is these people, they're the ones trapped in their mind about your strength. Someone saying that this woman or this man is too strong. Like some of, some of these people may even be admiring your strength at this point. Is that this person is too strong. We can't do this. We've been doing this for a long time. This person is still showing up in an ace of cups energy. Genuine is always happy, still pouring into themselves. A lot of self-care. We can't keep doing this. 
Like someone is sending some type of communication about your strength. Like your strength is being illuminated. It's being illuminated. Like someone may even be advocating for you behind the scenes. All because of your strength that you kept going on. I think when they started doing something, they thought like you are in some type of battle mode right now. Like the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles energy with the strength card and the sun. Yeah, honey, you anyways when you when something started maybe they just saw you as like a page of cups or a queen of cups and they thought something was just going to be done and over with but something has like something has gone for a long time and it has people bewildered people confused some people pissed off the fact that you keep waking up it's like someone knocking you down but you keep getting up every time they knock you down again you get up they knock you down you get up they, and they they are at a point where it's like they're screaming Stay down. Like, why won't you stay down? Stay down. And you're like, no, I'm getting back up. It's okay. Keep doing whatever it is you want to do, but I'm going to be here fighting back too. Okay? And look at your future. Thank you. Abundant. Very abundant. And it has people pissed up, jealous, and everything. They could be jealous that a king of pentacles, maybe is going through healing or is wishing to be in your energy, wishing to be with you. Like, there's a whole lot of jealousy. It's like you have maybe even women or men around this man that is, um, that is, yeah, they're trying to keep you from being seen, basically. So, you're on social media. They're, you're trying, they're paying to have you not be seen. They're trying to hide you. Yeah. Uh, it's like there's women around this king of pentacles or... Uh, men around this king of pentacles they are pulling all kind of tricks and things like that. You know, hands on your knees, uh, shaking that ASS for the king of pentacles, um, making errands, all kinds of stuff. All to keep him distracted and to keep him in his lower energy and things like that. To make him feel like, you know, all is well in karmic veil, but all is not really well in karmic veil. And this man is seeing that, okay? Um... Someone may have received a message that you're not walking away from what it is that you are invested in. Uh, they may have received a communication that, you know, maybe they're in the wrong and they need to let something go or whatever this is. Or that you're not going somewhere or someone is not going somewhere. I don't know what this is. Like someone received some type of message either about you not giving up you not going somewhere or something of that nature. You may not have received a communication. Um, so the, uh, um, also maybe a family is under investigation. I'm trying to see how to verbalize all of this because there's so much coming out. <clears throat> but it's a whole lot coming out at once and it may be a bit too much for these people to handle. The truth is coming out about these people paying to block you, stop you, control you, lies and everything. The truth is out. Like, that is a source. It's just, it, it, it's reiterating that, yeah, they've still been doing the same thing. We said we, were, we weren't going to do it anymore. We said we had stopped doing it. We never stopped doing it. That's what it is. They're heartbroken be, because you're still going to be seen. They don't do everything to stop you from being seen, but they are still... Being like, I don't even know how to put this. It's that you are still being seen and you're still going to be seen. You're still going to be pouring into your work. And with this social media card out here, that means you're on a platform. You're still pouring into your work. The divine is still pouring into your work. Your ancestors are still pouring into your work. So you're still going to be seen. You you, you get me? Like, this is the, the if, if there ever was a. Uh, 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 <sighs> I don't even know how to put this. Like, you know, someone basically has, like, a budget for blocking someone. Someone's work, someone's exposure. And I don't get it. It's so stupid. Like, money you can take and invest in yourself. You're investing in, in blocking someone else. And destiny is still going to play out. You're blocking someone and they're still coming out in this energy every day. St the star. Queen of Cups. You're blocking someone of this magnitude and they're still coming out in this energy any, anyways with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, still investing in what it is that they want and you still think you should be paying. It's that you're throwing money down the drain at this point. 
Because it's not going to lead to nothing. Sorry to tell you, but whoever you're coming after, they're still going to keep going. The Page of Swords people, these are people that are very loyal. And it's not just loyalty to people, but loyalty to the things that matter to them. So if someone has put in a lot of time, effort, and energy into something, they are loyal to that till the, till the death of them. They ain't about to click off. They're not about to stop posting. Posting Since it's a, a social media car, they're not about to do any of that. They're going to keep posting. So you can keep tempering with the numbers, trying to make it seem like, oh, you need to do this so your numbers can go up. You can keep connecting with all the insiders you want. It's not going to do nothing. Someone is still going to be posting. By the time this situation is over, you're going to be broke. You're going to be broke. I don't know if these people get together. They have like... You you put two dot you put twenty five dollars I put twenty like they're doing some type of I don't know fundraising like men, mentality where they're putting money together just to block somebody, but it's like their their pockets are about to be hit, and when it's hit, baby they won't be able to pay anymore to have this done. It's that people have voluntarily depleted their resources, voluntarily depleted their resources. And these are low vibration of people getting drunk, all kinds of stuff. But they're more focused. These are people that are going through havoc behind the scenes, but they're still more focused on paying to have you blocked. They're paying like a narcissist to, to trap you, control you, keep you. And they say nothing they do is working. And I think somebody is telling them that. It's like, this is not working. This person is still committed. This person is still posting. They're still being seen, and they're pissed off about it. You see the three of swords? They're pissed off that you're still seen. You're still talking. You're still, I don't know what you're doing, getting dressed on camera, uh, doing nails on camera, whatever it is you're doing. <clears throat> they're still pissed off, and you're still showing up. So I don't know what to tell these people. Like, the truth is out. They're doing all of this because they're, because they're angry, bitter, insecure, and jealous that you have something of your own. They don't have nothing that belongs to them. Nothing. <clears throat> nothing. These aren't people that invest in themselves. They invest in gossip. They invest in getting drunk. They invest in drugs. They invest in low vibrational activities. Who can we sleep with to get some money out of them? How can I get the bag out of this man today, out of this woman today? Who can I manipulate? How can I manipulate them so I can get something out of them? And they get a thrill out of that. They feel like the more manipulative they are, the more powerful they are. I didn't know that's how that works. I didn't know that's how that works. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next reading. Goodbye for now.